30 on October 26, 2023. We'll call this regular monthly meeting to order for the Scarborough Sanitary District. Uh, we'll call the roll. We'll go starting with Ben. Present. Tony. Present. Mike. Present. Bruce. Present. Jason. Here. All right. <laughs> I'm Nick Rico and I'm here too. Okay. So approval of the minutes. I'll entertain a motion to approve them. Move approval. Thank you, Jason. Second. Thank you, Ben. Uh, any corrections, additions, subtractions? Barring none, all in favor? Uh, that would be one, two, three, four, five, and one abstention. Yes? Or did you vote yes? Uh, I was not here last yeah, week. Yeah, one abstention. Yeah, five yes, one abstention. Cool. You hmm? you Were you here? I have to change my vote. I abstain <laughs> as well. Sorry. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. He was Coincidentally, there. Mike and I are on the next ballot next year, so maybe that's why. It's Kismet. 20, 2024 yeah. already. So four zero two. Thank you. And Joe just arrived, so we'll call him present. You want to get his vote? On the it's not, it's right. Superintendent's report. We already had a motion. We voted. A copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of September is included in your packet. For September, we averaged uh, effluent flow of 1.64 million gallons a day. Our effluent quality was well within our permitted limits. We averaged 97% BOD removal and 99% TSS removal with uh, concentrations of 6 and 3 milligrams per liter, respectively. A copy of the uh, pump station flows for the month of September is included in your packet. No concerns were noted. Uh, the construction has begun on the uh, wet well upgrade down at pump station number 2. The nighttime work was completed on October 3rd and 4th. T-Buck was well staffed and prepared for this work and uh, the work went very smooth, smoothly. Uh, the district had staff, uh, Carl, Paul, Sean, Josh, Jay, Scott, and myself on site. And uh, we managed the flow to the pump station while T-Buck uh, completed their work. Uh, we had four sepsis toilets on site to facilitate this uh, work. Currently the bypass pumping is now up and running and they, uh, have started the rehab of the existing wet well, um, and they have submitted their first pay application of $155,000.79, uh, which we uh, processed on the 20th. Um, just to uh, update, they, they've uh, completed the first coat of the cementitious coating that goes in the wet well. Uh, that coating uh, will cure for 30 days, and it can cure actually in the wet. Uh, so we'll be putting the uh, pump station back online for the month, uh, take the bypass pumps offline, and uh, kind of clean up the site while it cures. Then they'll be back, and we'll clean out the wet well again and go with the epoxy coating over that. Um, let's see what else is going on. Uh, the new odor control is nearing completion. Uh, the media uh, was loaded into the unit this past week, uh, and the unit uh, should be online by the end of the month. I provide you a progress photo of the, that included the conveyor belts used to load the media into the unit. Uh, the Green Mile Solar went live on September 21st, and we should uh, be seeing credits uh, hopefully in our next billing cycle, although uh, CMP is allowed up to 60 days to apply those credits. Uh, Sean, Rudy, and Josh has not been finished installing the new conduit uh, uh, that will be used to extend fiber optic to the building, to the admin building. Um, we just replaced two yard hydrants that we had budgeted uh, to replace. Uh, a uh, local contractor did a great job completing this work in a timely manner. Uh, we have met with DEP and developed a sampling plan for a phase two of the state's PFAS sampling program. This phase uh, extends the sampling into the collection system uh, with the intent of try trying to identify uh, sources of wastewater PFAS. 
uh, we will be collecting uh, uh, single grab samples from 12 locations over a three week uh, period starting, it's actually already started, we started this week. So um, that, that is ongoing. <coughs> Uh, OSC Web Designs continues to update, uh, working on updates to our website. Uh, they were going to be here tonight to take uh, photos of the trustees um, to be included on the website, but unfortunately, the photographer had an emergency that he had to, that is he, that he is attending to. Um, they may or may not be uh, taking photos tomorrow at the plant, also. Um, Cross-country sewer that runs through the proposed apartment complex for 35 Muzzy Road, which is right at uh, eight corners. Um, we can, last night actually, we conducted a pre-construction video inspection of the sewer uh, prior to the beginning of that construction. Um, and we did it during the night so we could just uh, do it with the camera without any bypass pumping or, or um, and to facilitate running the camera up the line. Um, the video of that line actually looks really, really good. The, the sewer line looks really good. The uh, the sewer in the it did, although it says it on the plans, it didn't dawn, you know didn't uh, um, hit home until I was looking at the camera last night. But the the gravity sewer in the middle of the easement actually is duct lion versus PVC. So is that the piece that goes under the river? No, it doesn't go under the river. Oh. Uh, a budget workshop will be conducted uh, immediately following our November uh, meeting next month. Uh, so be, be prepared for that. Or I, I should have uh, draft budgets for you <coughs> at that time. And let's see. Oh, I said that twice. So anyway, um, we will have a budget workshop after the next meeting. Cool. Any questions for the superintendent? Hey, Dave. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, uh, on the sampling for PFAS, Dave? Yep. Uh, those those twelve locations are they going to sample continuously for that period at the same locations? No, they're just doing one grab sample from each location. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions for the superintendent? Okie dokie. Uh, correspondence. Uh, Next gen uh, smoothie bar ability to serve. Uh, Next Gen requested an ability to serve letter for an addition of a smoothie bar at the existing gym, and I attached the uh, letter that was provided. Uh, it, it'll, they'll be well be well within their already approved limit uh, flow limits. So um, at this point, they'll just stay there. All right, old business we have none. Yep. New business. Looks like we have the employee handbook amendments. Including your packet, um, are some proposed amendments to your, our employee handbook as we recommended by a human resource consultant and reviewed by Bernstein Shore and our IT consultant. The amendments included uh, updates as required by law. Um, uh, the inclusion of a techno technology use in social media policy in an update to the narrative of the 401A retirement benefit that better matches the district's plan. I recommend approval of these amendments um, to the employee handbook. I'll entertain a motion. Move approval of the amendments. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Mike. Any questions? Barring none. All in favor? Thank you. Don't oppose. From station two, retainage bank account. As required by the contract documents for uh, the pump station number two upgrades. Uh, the retainage from the pump station uh, project must be held in an interest-bearing account. I recommend authorizing the treasurer to sign the documents required to this uh, required to open this account. Uh, the bank has yet to get me those documents. Uh, they have just let me know recently that I need. They want a letter on letterhead requesting 
opening of the, this account signed by Jason. So it'll be a multi-step process apparently. But, so once I get the paperwork available, I'd like to have the authorization for Jason's assignment. Cool. Yeah. Motion Thank to approve. Turn it in. Thank you, John. Okay, any questions about the account or the procedures? By none. All in favor? None opposed? Thank you. Budget summary. Budget summary is included in your packet. I recommend approval. So moved. Thank you, Jason. Is that Ruth or Joe? Joe. Any questions or comments for the superintendent on the budget summary? It's in good shape. All in favor? None opposed? Okay. Public comments? Please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Leroy Coffey. I'm one of the address. 17 Imperial Lane in Scarborough, Maine. I'm the current trustee for Scarborough on Fort Lauderdale District. I appreciate the superintendent bringing me over and showing me his plan. I felt it was really beneficial to see what you folks do and see where the wastewater goes. You guys have a very fine facility. You do a great job. I think this board is very active in your community. And I really appreciate all that you do. And I just wanted to express my thoughts and prayers for the people who attend with you. Thank you. Thank you, Roy. I appreciate it. Any more public comment? Ms. Bridget? Okie dokie. All right. Let's start with trustee comments. On. Let's start with Ben. Yeah, my, <clears throat> my thoughts and prayers with uh, the people in Lewiston and the surrounding area. And uh, I'd also like to uh, thank Dave and the district for, you know, putting on a nice employee appreciation evening. I thought that went really well, and our employees deserve the appreciation, and, and that was a nice evening. That's it. I, I also concur with Ben. Um, it's always difficult to go through a time like this when events like this occur. Also, um, Dave, you, you know, the employee dinners, I think, is a very well uh, deserved thing for the employees. Those guys are great. Um, I know them from a long time ago, and those guys are very deserving of that. Um, not to echo my fellow trustees' comments, but um, I am, um, you know, thinking of the folks up in uh, Lewiston. Um, and also the employee appreciation dinner was uh, was was a great event. You know, they obviously um, deserve it, and I think they had a good time. Um, and my wife had a good time, too. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Cool. Jason? Um, same comments regarding the dinner. I thought it was great that... Uh, to see the faces there and, and the folks. I've had the uh, luxury of being down to the plant every week. It's great to see that they also enjoyed a good time and uh, also <coughs> find that that event is uh, appreciated. So it's great to hear. Um, thanks to the staff. I've also been doing some work down around the plant and uh, noticed that uh, you know everybody is extremely helpful and as they always are, but. Uh, Friendly and everybody seems to be in good spirits, and that's a testament to Dave's leadership and the quality of the workers we have down there and all the staff. Um, also, like to uh, send my best wishes and uh, my prayers to all the folks that are affected by this tragedy in Lewiston. Horrible to see the news last night, and uh, just want to say to all the people out there, please stay safe, be vigilant, and. Uh, you know, this is too close to home. It's a shame that this has happened in our own state, a town nearby, and so many people are affected. So please um, hold your loved ones tight and uh, be vigilant out there. Stay safe. Rules. I echo everything that Jason said, and I appreciate all of our first responders who um, 
obviously jumped into action yesterday. Um, and thank you for the district and everything that you do um, for all of us. Joe? I was not uh, able to be here last month, so I'll just publicly thank Ken for his anniversary and uh, years of service. And thank you to the staff for the continued work. Um, and it was a great uh, employee appreciation dinner, as uh, my fellow trustees have already said. And it's good to recognize the work that they do and uh, give them a little appreciation, as it's well deserved. And as everybody else has also mentioned, thoughts and prayers for everybody that's been affected by the recent tragedy yesterday. And uh, that's all I have. Thank you. Cool. I will echo all my trustee comments. Thank you, Leroy, for coming. I appreciate that. Um, special prayers go to Travis Peasley <clears throat> at Lopka, where one of the shootings happened right in front of his facility. Anyway, prayers to them and to the rest of the folks in Lewiston and all those that are affected. This is still the safest state in the union. I'll entertain the final motion. Motion to adjourn. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Tony. All right, we're done. Awesome.